Hello, Jonas. Nice to Hello. see you uh, up here in our little video studio. <laughs> so we, uh, in our last uh, session with Dan, uh, we talked about uh, bringing you up here. And mm -hmm. uh, today uh, you uh, have brought us a um, sample use case in the real estate world. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, together we want to spend some time and get an idea of well how you constructed the use case, what the little elements are, the tips and tricks along the mm -hmm. way that we that we do see. And uh, yeah, why why don't we you know just start uh, with 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 asking um, what exactly did you do? So yeah. it, maybe you give us a, a a demonstration of. Uh, uh, the use case, and then we, I, I will ask some questions and we dig down and deconstruct mm -hmm. how you did it because I think that's uh, how the users here will learn the most. So, yeah. Okay, so in the last video, you uh, gave somewhat of a broad overview about mm -hmm. uh, the history of process maps and so on. And uh, as you said, we now want to dig a little bit deeper into certain functionalities. And um, today, with me, I brought the use case of a uh, real estate company, which is using M files to um, manage uh, certain certain lots and houses mm -hmm. that they're having in their, their system. So for this, um, I created a view in our well-known demo vault, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, which you also showed last time. Mm -hmm. um, and if you open this view, you can see here on the right-hand side, you have the map tab, mm -hmm. um, and it's loading really fast. Right, that was less than a second. So, yeah. so when you enter that uh, specific view, you uh, receive a uh, yeah an overview of the region here mm -hmm. with with different uh, possibilities to interact right away or no? Uh, not right away. This is because this is just an SVG file, mm -hmm. which is um, of course much faster than mm. a real process map. Mm. But you have this button over here, ah, okay. uh, the Make Interactive button, and if you click it, it, of course, takes a couple of seconds. And now you have a fully uh, interactive map. I just saw that the toolbar has changed. Now mm -hmm. a toolbar is available, and when you hover over the elements, you can yeah. possibly interact with them. Yeah. Okay. So for instance, you can have um, certain tool tips, which explain Mm -hmm. um, certain areas of this map. Um, you can also have some, some buttons which you can click. Mm -hmm. For example, here, mm -hmm. of course, here you have the simplified um, graphical overview mm -hmm. of this regi region. But you can also access the, the trail system map, ah, okay. which gives you a little bit more insights into uh, the region itself and um, what the residents can do there. Mm -hmm. For example, we have some parkway sites and mm -hmm. yeah, off-street trails and stuff. Okay, but now we want to go back again. So you can always just navigate between maps by using the toolbar over here. Um, what maybe is a little bit more interesting, we now want to have a look at uh, one specific housing community mm -hmm. in this uh, Shoal Creek area. area. Um, by doing so, I'm just going to select the greens, and after a couple of seconds, a new map is loaded, uh, which is also fully interactive, so we don't have this make interactive mm -hmm, thing mm -hmm. here. So this is, yeah, the toolbar stays intact up there, mm -hmm. and uh, I see yeah, many colored dots, and I see some houses. Yep. Okay, so these are two different types of shapes mm -hmm, exactly. you have designed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, basically, we have um, here two classes. Mm -hmm. uh, which are represented by either a house, mm -hmm. which represents a house, yeah. or uh, a dot, which mm -hmm. uh, stands for a lot, mm -hmm. where uh, a house could be built, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, isn't right now. Mm -hmm. So again, you can hover over those uh, M files elements, uh, M files objects, and you can see the name and also the workflow state, mm -hmm. which is represented by this color. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for example, we have a lot when it's sold. It's not long. It's no longer available, and um, it's represented as as red. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, if it's planned, it's blue. Or if we go to the houses, if certain uh, 
yeah, still some some activities has to, had to be done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For example, insulation, drywall, and flooring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's represented as as yellow. Yeah, I get it. Okay. Um, when you showed this to me, uh, you uh, said that the colors are applied dynamically. Mm -hmm. So uh, can we kind of deconstruct what's happening in that map? Let's mm -hmm. just of click course. on the edit button and let's see yeah. how, how, how that actually works. I will just quickly check it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here you have the map which we just uh, saw in mm -hmm. the editor where you can also edit certain elements. And as I told you, this color is not just static. Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually define which color a certain element should get mm -hmm. uh, when, for example, um, changing the workflow state. Okay, you selected that yeah. uh, uh, red dot down there. Mm -hmm. So let's look at the meta card first. So can you just pr briefly, briefly launch the meta card over mm -hmm. there so that we get an sure. idea of uh, the content? Okay, we do have a workflow. It's called lot status. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, down here, there are uh, yeah, certain sta uh, states mm -hmm. um, where uh, sold is the last one. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's not long available. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we have some. Uh, metadata over here, mm -hmm. which can also be edited mm -hmm. in here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so this is the mm -hmm. normal meta card you also know from your yeah. normal M files vault. And uh, if you want to display colors, for instance, dynamically, you have to, of course, select the object, go into properties, and then values, and you can define new values by opening this dialog. And here you have a wide variety of metadata you can, you can use to display certain things. For example, as I told you, mm -hmm. uh, the workflow state, which is over here. Mm -hmm. And then you define kind of yeah. the conditions Exactly. Mm -hmm. So at first you have an item attribute uh, that should change mm -hmm. when uh, this condition is met. Um, I would just choose line color for now. So mm -hmm. the outer circle is uh, painted, mm -hmm. for example, when it's in draft. Mm -hmm. uh, so at first here we have um, every workflow state, which is in our vault. Mm -hmm. um, I would now select framing, for example, mm -hmm. and I want this color to be the outer line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you can edit. If the workflow state would change to uh, to framing in this example, mm -hmm. the outer circle would be colored mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. in this way. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one thing uh, that I would like to uh, uh, point out. Uh, can you please launch the editor again? Because I think what is important uh, to learn is that shapes. Uh, Mm. do not accept the drop of an mfiles object right away. So yep. you have to prepare yep. them so that That's they true. accept this drop. Can we just please show this uh, functionality mm -hmm. here? Yeah, so uh, I will just um, create a, a simple shape. Mm -hmm. For example, another circle. Mm -hmm. Let's go over here. Mm -hmm. And if you just have this shape by itself, if we switch to the properties, mm -hmm. um, they will find the option MF accept drop, which indicates that no M files object can be dropped onto this shape. I will just show uh, you real quick. Okay, the check mark is not set. Yeah, so not when set you take default. an object, you can just throw something onto mm -hmm. there. So you can see it's a uh, different it object. It does not accept mm -hmm. uh, yeah. the, that. Okay. So the, mm -hmm. the reason behind this is obviously many customers use uh, those shapes as uh, background, for example, for their maps. Um, and if you drop M files objects onto those backgrounds, of course you don't want to uh, link those. Yeah, I get it. Um, okay. Uh, okay. But mm -hmm. if I select MF accept, accept drop, mm -hmm. now it's activated, and I'll just take. Yeah. This one, for example, ah, okay. and now it is linked. Mm -hmm. So okay. we have yeah. a label and a command. Um, and also, I will just zoom in a little bit. 
um, you can see an icon over here. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. In some cases, it could be undesired huh? uh, yeah. to show this. For example, also in this use case, because yeah. at every dot you would have a tiny flag or something like this. Yeah, and it's yeah. Not, no beneficial information yeah. in the, at this point. It, yeah. So, okay, so you could That's switch right. that off with... Here, you have to select hide MF icon. Ah, okay. It is grayed out because it's not activated yet. Mm -hmm. um, but if you toggle it, okay. it will disappear. Okay. I get it. All right. And it has a MetaCard command uh, yeah. also available. Mm -hmm. Just like uh, this one. Out of the box. Okay, I get it. So, so you're back on the home screen. Yeah. So let's look at uh, yeah, some other features that you have built into, yeah. into this demo. So um, as I told you before, there's also this um, make, interactive, uh, make Interactive option mm -hmm. um, where you first load the SVG file. Mm -hmm. And it will just uh, show you where you can Im implement mm -hmm. this one. So I just opened the, the, okay. the overview and the editor. Let's make it a full screen. So um, for doing so, you have to open the save and configure dialog where you have different tabs, which uh, yeah, are not of interest at this moment. But this one, show with view. That's the home view con mm -hmm. uh, configuration. So exactly. it says when you enter this real estate view, you want to display the map that we have mm -hmm. uh, open currently. Okay. Yeah. So there you have every view that is in your vault. Okay, that's the tree of views. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, when you uh, yeah select the view that we are mm -hmm. uh, in or want to be in. Yeah. Uh, so in in this example, of course, I already oh, you selected. Already did. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. But you can always click on it on it and and edit. Uh, certain configurations. Okay, but it shows us the name, real estate. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the tab on, on the right-hand side? Yeah. Okay, yeah. and then... So, it, which is defined over here. Uh -huh. Okay, and then uh, you have six different options there, mm -hmm. which you could uh, yeah, configure in more, in, in more depth. So, let's yeah. uh, talk about those. Yeah, so um, focus just means um, that if you open the the view for instance mm -hmm. um, the map is selected right right away okay so when I let's say I'm, I'm in the meta card mm -hmm. uh, uh, view uh, the map says okay here I am yeah okay that's the focus it's, it's always so, in, okay. in the foreground okay mm -hmm. uh, so of course it's not always desirable to uh, just jump right up yeah if I for example select you know want to click through mm -hmm. different objects you know yeah. that can you know come in uh, problematic mm -hmm. so of it, course it, you you have some some loading time and every user has to deal but it's with fine those. when I enter a kind of a view yeah that, that makes sense okay yeah. mm -hmm. but now you have to actively select it mm -hmm. so only when you need it it's brought up okay yeah so uh, the next item is lazy loading lazy loading yeah. okay yeah what does that do? Uh, lazy loading means that um, the map only is loaded when it's actually selected. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, so the tab comes up, it shows the name mm -hmm. real estate, but the map is not on focused. But when I click on the tab, mm -hmm. then loaded. the loading is invoked. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I get it. Okay. Right. Okay, so uh, next option is uh, persistent, mm -hmm. which uh, means that if you are navigating in this view and select different subviews, um, the map will stay persistent on the right hand side. Ah, okay. So I can navigate to sub views in the real estate view mm -hmm. further down, and this tab with the overview map stays alive all the time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It only gets taken away when I, for example, jump into the HR section of the wall, mm -hmm. for example. So yeah. a complete different section. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's the persistency. And uh, if I am not mistaken, the persistency functionality as yeah needs the fast browsing yeah, mode, which anyway most users yeah. today uh, are using anyway because I it's hope so. much much <laughs> much much faster and uh, more convenient. Okay. Yeah. Then we have SVG. Mm -hmm. SVG is um, which we just saw. It's just an image of uh, the map, so mm -hmm. not the whole map is rendered, but just an image of it. So we. Uh, lose the interactivity. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't have the toolbar on top. Mm -hmm. You just have show, show the image. Yeah. So that could be image. super handy to just you know show your company logo mm -hmm. at startup in the home screen, for example. Yeah. Is that a use case? Right. So okay. you don't need any activity. Mm -hmm. uh, just um, yeah, show show an image. Okay. Um, but the next point is make interactive, um, which is what we just saw. 
So you have the option to render the map as an SVG file at first, mm -hmm. but if you need this interactivity, you can just select Make Interactive and um, yeah, the map will load with its full okay, functionality. Okay, so, so, so the full viewer functionality is mm -hmm. loaded and the toolbar does appear and the map becomes interactive as, yeah. the, as the button says. Okay, yeah. uh -huh. exactly. Mm -hmm. So, and I think it's a good recommendation to um, for most of the use cases is to uh, configure a home map like this. Okay, so start so. with an SVG, mm -hmm. so that just have something and then make interactive when you really need it. Yeah, exactly. And uh, uh, also, yeah, go with lazy, loaded, when lo lazy loading when you don't want to interfere with the user. Uh, uh, okay, I get it. And this make interactive button that you have on the upper left uh, side, this mm -hmm. red uh, button, uh, the color of the button can be changed. Is that possible, at least for the admins? Uh, actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> Nobody ever asked me this question. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. All right, let me give you the answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I know that the configuration is able to do oh, okay, that. Okay, so, interesting. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it's a really niche feature, but yeah. yeah <laughs> well, sometimes you know, red uh, makes on on a red background. Uh, yeah. a red button is uh, yeah. yeah not, of course, it makes sense. Not a good idea. When, when I think about yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's that's uh, possible there. Okay, and then the last option that we have is what show, show on selection. selection. What does that do? Um, that means um, that you don't have to open the view, so don't double click it. Ah, okay. We are we are in a tab called Show with View, yeah. and I have the list of views. And when I use the Show on Selection, I only have to tap on the view, mm -hmm. and then I receive, for example, an SVG file explaining me what is yeah. the content or what is the purpose. Yeah. But I don't have to enter the view. Mm -hmm. That's what on selection means. Yeah. Ah, I get it. Okay. Uh, the last feature I want to show you today, mm -hmm. um, I will go back to the Greens uh, housing community. Mm -hmm. um, I now want to show you uh, a Google map of the link. same of the same region. Okay, yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, w with 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 you know the satellite view. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that that is a command. Yeah, uh, just you, integrated. You, it's on just this a button shape. with a command, yeah. and it shows the region mm -hmm. of of this uh, community. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. the the procedure is quite simple, but mm -hmm. uh, it's I think a huge advantage just to have everything in one place and just mm -hmm. to navigate to a real satellite image to show to customers, for yeah, instance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's get back to the greens. I just mm -hmm. want to show you really quick uh, how I did this command mm -hmm. to access Google Map. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is our map in mm -hmm. the editor, and this is the button I just clicked. Yeah. Um, of course, you can name it everything you want. Um, but again, to uh, to create a new command mm -hmm. uh, or also edit existing ones, you have to select the shape, mm -hmm. uh, which is just the shape. It's yeah. uh, not an M files object in this case. Um, and here in the command section, you can create uh, a new one or edit um, existing ones. So for okay. the, in mm -hmm. this case, I will just show you we have different uh, uh, items mm -hmm. that uh, can be yeah, defined where the user should click to so, make this. So, so you can select simple yeah. or icon. So when I click on the rectangle or do I want to click on the little gray mm -hmm. uh, icons beside an object, okay? Yeah. And I, then I can even select which type of icon I want. But in this mm -hmm. case, we just want the big shape. Mm -hmm. So we click on symbol, right? Yeah, Okay. Yeah, that's right. Then we select the trigger. So what is the trigger that uh, mm -hmm. you know triggers the action? A double click or hover over or a click. So I believe the click is what we yeah, want. It's yeah. Okay, more and then we define the action. What shall actually happen? In this case, uh, uh, okay, we yeah. have selected a target, which is a URL. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, so then I don't have different actions to choose from, right? Yeah, th that's true. Okay. So uh, this list of actions is uh, bound to the, uh, the, the selected target. Ah, okay. For example, if you select an object, yeah. in this case. Yeah, and then I have much more uh, yeah. potential actions yeah. to choose from. So you can okay. show mm -hmm. the meta card, navigate mm -hmm. to the object, mm -hmm. open it, or even edit it right okay, away. I get it, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, just a quick word to... Uh, the items again. Mm -hmm. um, I would recommend to most of the time, especially if you just have one comment uh, uh, command, mm. um, to always select the symbol as mm. 
the one that yeah. that should be uh, mm -hmm. yeah clicked. Um, right. Yeah, but in our case, um, we wanted to show an URL. Okay, you switch to URL. Okay, and mm -hmm. then uh, and then it's also updated here in the actions. Oh, it automatically knows what yeah. to do there. Okay. Yeah. And then you have static. What does that mean? Uh, static means that this one is a static URL. Ah, okay, so it jumps exactly mm -hmm. using this URL that you have there, and uh, the, those up, other options were static, and what was that? There was yeah, so uh, you, you have property static. and placeholder. What mm -hmm. do they, those do? Just explain them to me to, to yeah. get an idea. Yeah, so uh, property is just, you have Empire's properties, um, which you then could implement in this URL. Um, to have a somewhat um, dynamic. Okay, URL. so the so the the URL command that actually is launched mm -hmm. is adding elements dynamically. So yeah. you could choose from the properties, okay, uh, or I even could make a more complex uh, construction mm -hmm. using the placeholder, the placeholder uh, functionality. So. so I could you know concatenate different elements and mm -hmm. build kind of a complex yeah. URL for uh, the access. Okay, yeah, I guess true. Okay. So mm -hmm. here you have the normal M files placeholder ed mm -hmm. editor mm -hmm. where you can uh, insert different placeholders. Ah, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So but I think uh, especially for users that are not that familiar with um, M files it's just really easy to just implement a static URL. Yeah, I could easily, you know, jump to my CRM system mm -hmm. or I could jump into uh, Google Internet. or yeah. yeah, there's so many potential uh, use cases. Mm -hmm. Actually, I have uh, seen uh, uh, one of uh, one consultant, you know, launching the the Mint uh, uh, mm. functionality, the yeah. new contract uh, document generation functionality from M Files. Right within M Files, you launch that, and you can generate yeah. your documents from within really uh, uh, the M Files <laughs> environment using this uh, command here. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Jonas. This was a great demonstration. I think Thanks we have learned me. a lot. Uh, we will repeat this with another use case and mm -hmm. deconstruct another use case. Uh, so, yeah, uh, our viewers shall be tuned. We will inform them yeah. uh, on this channel. So, thank you, Jonas. And, uh, Thanks yeah, for having me. Welcoming you next time and next month. So, for now, <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Thank you.